here we pick up the railway line so like I said at some point the railway line started to turn north off of Lamaha Street and this is the railway embankment looking towards the east but this is the railway embankment or what used to be the railway line looking southeast oh this is my this is my this is my day i'm ready to take it on come what may so the remnants of the line uh, has been largely obscured, obstructed by construction looking southeast towards the city. But the railway line has been preserved as the railway embankment road looking northeast. We'll continue along the railway embankment road just to trace the route of this railway a little further east over Sheriff Street. So at this point, the railway road is a one way street and What is uh, immediately obvious or observable is how wide the embankment is at this point. So although there is a narrow one-way road, there is enough space on either side for a much wider road to be built. This is a railway embankment road. And south, on the south side of the railway embankment road is Campbellville. And the north side of the railway embankment road at this point would be Sabrianville, Kitty, Kitty Sabrianville. And this is the railway embankment. So the railway embankment becomes the railway embankment road once it goes over. Morning. Once it goes over. Sheriff Street and then it becomes a two-way road that goes all the way up the East Coast that's Brian that's uh, Campbellville it's a garbage pickup so they are days of the week when garbage pickup occurs around the city, each district has its own day for pickup. There is not yet recycling or composting of food waste in Guyana, but at least there is regular pickup twice a week of garbage in the city, and that's covered by property tax that city residents pay. Property tax covers garbage pickup and sewage disposal. And the city does actually do a very good job now of sewage disposal and garbage pickup, although the system has been in disrepair for a while. There were some recent renovations to it. 
and there is much improvement. So this is the railway embankment road that divides Kitty Sobriantville on the north and Campbellville on the south. And we're heading northeast. So at this point, the railway embankment angles northeast, taking us closer, morning, closer and closer to the Atlantic Ocean, to the coastal road, which is Rupert Craig Highway. So that's the northern side, which is Kitty Sabrianville. Sabrianville being further north at this point. Kitty being the main district. And south, Campbellville. So the railway line divides Kitty and Campbellville at this point. And the railway embankment road is a one-way road heading southwest into the city at this point. But the width of the road, uh, the width of the railway embankment is wide enough to accommodate a much wider road and possibly two-way traffic. Uh, however, I don't know if there are plans to expand the road and increase the traffic out of the city. This is what it looks like. Railway embankment road at Kitty Campbellville. That's the Kitty side. Kitty Sobrianville side. And that's the Campbellville side. Campbellville side. That's the railway embankment at Kitty Campbellville. So this section coming up is with Shower Street. It's the Kitty's Bryanville side. And here is the landmark Guy Oil gas station at the corner of Sheriff Street and the Railway Embankment Road. So this is the Kyle gas station. and Sheriff Street. So this five-way intersection, David Street Kitty. So that road takes us back into Kitty. It's David Street. This is Sheriff Street headed north. And that's Sheriff Street looking south. Gotcha. 
that's Sheriff Street looking south. And this is the railway road, which continues heading northeast at this point. There is the cemetery besides Shire Street, looking north and Campbellville. There are Legacy Gardens looking south at this point. So the railway embankment continues. northeast. So at this point it becomes a two-way street, a two-way road and it runs, begins the angle towards being parallel with the coast at Stone Avenue or at uh, Conversation Tree. But this is what Campbellville residential neighborhood on the south side of really embankment looks like and the north side would be Bel Air and Bel Air Gardens at the railway embankment road so because it's a morning dual carriageway road at this point so it's dual carriageway tends to be quite dangerous because Chinese drivers cannot resist speeding and we do have an epidemic of drunk driving so there have been quite a few accidents on this road some of them fatal in the last year and last few years but it does remember represent some progress and while some of us have not given up hope of a not the railway system being implement some high-speed rail connecting the cities along the communities along the coast but if the population increases or is to increase more efficient mass transit will be a requirement and Would probably be, be the best way to implement that but north of the words becoming parallel with the coast and south is Campbellville. At this point, north.
this new building has been put up, has been built in the last two years. And some commercial establishment in Campbellville. And we come to Bel Air. Right at this intersection. The railway road continues east of here where it goes past the Sophia Convention Center and the CARICOM headquarters. But we're going to stop at this point. There's a bridge that is under construction about a mile east of here. As you can see, this is Conversation Tree, a road that connects railway embankment to the coastal road, which is Rupert Craig Highway. And Stone Avenue to the south. So there you have it, railway road from Lamaha Street in Georgetown to Bel Air. If you want to see more content like this, click like and subscribe. Leave a comment below. In the comments, tell me where you'd like me to review next. Later!